Today, we will be learning about the area of rectangles and parallelograms. You should be familiar with how to find the area of a rectangle, but let's review. Remember that area is located inside a shape. Area is actually the squares that are created when the vertical and horizontal lines cross. If you look closely, you can see small gray squares inside the rectangle. However, I am drawing red lines that are exactly one inch apart, both vertically and horizontally, to create one inch by one inch squares inside of the shape. Because there are four going across, the length of this rectangle is four inches, and we will make that green. Since there are two on the side, the width of this rectangle is two inches. In total, I was able to create eight one inch square units inside this rectangle. The area formula says length times width will give you the total. But keep in mind that length can also be called the base of a shape. Width can also be called the height of a shape. Because a rectangle top and bottom are the same, the base is on the top and on the bottom. And we are going to go ahead and keep the base green and the height blue so that the area formulas are consistent. Area equals length times width or area equals base times height. Let's give this one a try. Area equals base times height. Base, 12.5 in green, multiply that times height, which is seven in blue. We're just going to do the calculations and the area is 87.5 inches squared. Another example, oh, whoa, this time we're actually given the area and the height, but not the base. So we fill in what we do know. 72 is the area and 6 is the height. Inverse operation says divide. If I divide both sides by 6, the base is 12. So therefore, 12 feet is the base. Here's an area rug. Again, we're given the square footage, we're given the height, but we don't have the base. Let's fill in each piece. 21 is the area. We don't know the base. And we multiply that by 3.5, which is the height. Again, we need to do inverse operation in order to solve, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So we divide both sides by 3.5 in order to keep the balance. Doing the math off to the side so we can show how the decimal would move in order to solve this problem. That when we multiply, we definitely want to get a zero as the remainder, and that the base of this rug is six. So this rug is six feet by three and a half feet. Now we're going to use the rectangle formula to solve for the parallelogram formula. Keeping in mind that area is base times height, we identified the base here, 17, and the height is 10. So 17 times 10 gives us an area of 170 units squared. Representing that same piece here, except I have a triangle that is now cut out. I'm going to go ahead and take that triangle on the side and move it uh, -da, to the other side. What do you see? It's a parallelogram. Parallelogram is defined by a shape that has two sets of parallel sides. Notice the height right here is still 10. Notice the yellow is still 170. It hasn't changed. The reason is the slanted part over here. That's not the height. The height, the true height, is 10. So 17 times 10 is 170. Let's try. Area equals base times height. Let's identify the base on the bottom there. It's 27, bottom or top. Let's identify the height as, oh, good job, 16, because 20 is slanted, which is not the height. We can go ahead and do our math, which is simply 27 times 16. Work it out, carry, 
add and get a final answer. The total area of this parallelogram is 432 inches squared. Next, next example, it's turn, but still identify the base first. Again, top or bottom, 17. Identify the height, which is not 7 because it's slanted. Good job picking 5. Area equals 17 times 5. We'll go ahead and do the math. And the area equals 85 units squared. And our last example is a real world example, concrete wall made up of parallelograms, where I'm going to use the ruler to measure the sides. This measures four. Hmm. Here we see a measurement of two and a half. A parallelogram, the top and the bottom will be the same. So the bottom will be four. And the left and the right will also be the same. So 2.5. We're missing something very important. Oh yeah, did you guess it? The actual height of the parallelogram, straight up and down. It actually measures two. How weird is that? Two and a half, because it's diagonal or slanted, actually has to be longer than the height, which is two. Remembering the area formula says base times height. We've identified base in blue and height in green. So now we can put in our numbers and get our answer. Area equals base of four and a height of two. Four times two, area equals eight inches squared. So today's takeaway, remember that the rectangle formula is area equals length times width or base times height, where length is base and width is height. The parallelogram formula is also area equals base times height, but remember where to find the height. Never use the diagonal or the slanted part. Thank you so much for joining us.